So we are told in the psalm, be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be silent. Yes, blow your top, but do not let the sun go down upon your anger. Be silent as you commune with self. You don't commune with another. For the self of man is God. So be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. Not communing with another. And then you actually know exactly what you want. And in that state, fall asleep. And in a way that no one knows. And you, in your surface mind, you do not know. It will all come to pass. Everything in the world is created this way. But man does not know it. Who knows tonight who is treading the wine bread that is going to cause a change of mind in tomorrow's world. But when they do it, they are intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold. But because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. You want to be rich? All right, can be rich. You want to be known? You can be known. <clears throat> no matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. And then commune with your own heart upon your bed, and then let it drop. You'll read that in the fourth psalm, the psalm of David. <clears throat> so I say to everyone here, believe me, your own wonderful I am this, your consciousness, your wonderful human imagination, that is God. And all that you behold, though it appears without, it is within, in your imagination, of which this world of mortality is but a shadow. So you can change the shadow if you change the object, for you are the light. He said, I am the light of the world. Change the object that you're holding within yourself and identifying yourself with it. Change that object, you're light enough, and you'll cast a new shadow upon the world. So you say, I am, and you name it. And then you say, I am unemployed. No, I am gainfully employed. Making more than I've ever made before. Don't ask yourself how, why. And through whom? That is not your conscious reasoning mind's concern. If you take the intellectual background, the educational background of those who are making top money in the theatrical world, I doubt that they could pass any college examination. I don't think they could pass any entrance examination to college. Yet they're making a million dollars, two million dollars a year. Do you think Bob Hope could pass today's examination for entrance into college? But well, all of his material is written for him anyway. Can't even write that. But he has millions, all right, because that's how he dreamt, may I tell you? I know the background of the man. That was his goal in life. If that's your goal, have it. I speak of another goal. The goal of awakening to who we are. When man awakens from this dream, the whole vast world and all that it contains is as nothing to the being that you are. You came down from heaven where the whole is yours. As you're told in the 50th Psalm, if I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you. For the world is mine and all within it. The cattle on a thousand hills are mine. So why should I tell anyone of my need when it's all mine anyway? I would slay and eat. 